I started working with wood from a very early age and have been fascinated with it ever since. Each piece is different in its appearance as well as its working and tactile qualities. I've yet to find another material like it that allows such an endless chance to explore and experiment in my quest to craft something of beauty. Wood turning is one part of my journey in working with wood, and it's a fascinating discipline. It allows you to explore your creative abilities in a way that is unique in the woodworking world. The use of the lathe opens up possibilities that will allow you to shape work in a way that is unique from all other woodworking disciplines. Wood turning has an extensive, active, and vibrant community of people around the world. When I started out on my journey in woodworking, I met and read about many wonderful people, and it was only natural that they heavily influenced my development. The techniques I use today are similar to those I learned then. I owe a great debt to people like Richard Raffan, Bert Marsh, Keith Rowley, John Jordan, Alan Batty, Ray Key, Chris Stott, John Hunnix, Mike Darlow, and so many more turners, too many to mention by name, who are always willing to share their time, experiences, and techniques, and kind, encouraging words. In the spirit of all the other turners who have shared their experiences and encouraged people to turn, I would like to share with you my experiences, and will be showing you the core aspects and techniques to get you started on your wood turning journey. I hope you have as much fun turning over the coming years as I continue to have. Faceplate turning typically has the grain running at 90 degrees to the axis of the lathe when the headstock is in line with the tailstock. It facilitates the turning of bowls, dishes, and platters. Most of the accessories used to hold work for this type of turning fit onto the headstock spindle. The term faceplate turning originates from a time when most bowls and platters were fixed to the faceplate. Turning has developed quite a bit since then, and there are now many ways to hold such work securely, but the name is still valid, although a faceplate is only one of the items that can be used to hold the work. The key factor is holding the work securely and in a manner that allows you access to the wood in order to shape it safely. Spindle turning is also known as between center turning, which refers to turning with the grain of the wood running parallel to the lathe bed. This type of turning is usually used to produce items such as chair and stair spindles, balusters, support columns, goblets, boxes, spoons, pens, and so on. It typically employs accessories held on or in the headstock spindle in conjunction with support accessories that fit in the tailstock quill.